Hello Salem, I'm your mayor Chuck Bennett and back with you in 2021 for your monthly news and information from the city of Salem. We've said goodbye finally to 2020 and greet 2021 with the hope for a better and stronger year for our community. With an eye on the future, I'm happy to announce that staff and your council continue to work on updating the city's strategic plan. We will work to identify first year priorities that will become the 2021 policy agenda, which is used to develop our budget and evaluate programs and reporting measures. Community input is a central part of local planning, so please be sure to tune in to our live stream public meeting channel on YouTube as we prepare for new and current issues facing the city, such as reducing homelessness, improving resident access to city services, and building great neighborhoods. Last week, I had the pleasure of signing a memorandum of understanding with Dolores Pigsley, tribal chair of the Confederated Tribes of Select Indians of Oregon. The signing is significant as it strengthens the relationship between the city and the tribe to facilitate communication on matters of mutual interest. It formalizes our commitment to continued education and outreach projects to share the select tribe's past and to maintain regularly scheduled meetings with tribal representatives to ensure consultation on all city projects on sites of tribal significance. And let's start 2021 with a congratulations to the Public Works Department for receiving full accreditation by the American Public Works Association. With this award, the City of Salem became the 164th agency in North America and the fourth agency in Oregon to receive this designation. The purpose of accreditation is to promote excellence in the operation and management of public works agencies, its programs, and employees. The program requires committed leadership, dedicated employees, and rigorous documentation, as well as continuous improvement through external peer reviews that occur every four years. This really is a big achievement for Public Works and the City of Salem as a whole. Today, I have the pleasure of being here with Police Chief Trevor Womack. We're gonna chat a little with him next about his first few weeks leading the Salem Police Department. Well, Chief, uh, good morning, and thank you very much for spending a few minutes with us uh, hearing about how the job's going. And I guess that's really the way to start this is, uh, how have your first few weeks on the job been and how are you approaching the job? Uh, first, let me say good morning and thank morning. you, Mayor, for this opportunity to speak a little bit. Uh, I've been having an exciting time I bet. Uh, it's been interesting and exciting. It's been keeping me very We've busy. We've all been following you on <laughs> yeah, well, thank the, you. in the paper that. and on the radio and on TV. And uh, Well, that's part of what I've been trying to do is yeah. uh, uh, introduce myself to the community. Great. So uh, my approach, even for my, my first year on the job, my general approach is to take these first couple of months to introduce myself to as many people as possible. Great. Just meeting, listening, learning, observing. Um, so I've spent, I'm coming towards the end of my first two months now, and I've, I've invested most of my time doing exactly that. Have you? Um, okay. Of course, there's been some protests and other things going on that have taken my time. Well, but that's I've, part of why you're getting the big bucks. Huh? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> that's why I'm here. Uh, but I've met so many people, and it's been Great. it's been fun. Everybody's so welcoming and supportive. Yeah. Uh, so I look forward to, especially once we get past to come some of the COVID restrictions, yeah. getting out and meeting more people in person. Well, excellent. Well, what, uh, what have you... With this kind of outreach, I think we each go through this uh, as we've gone through any process dealing with the community. What have you learned? I mean, I know what I learn as I go out and, and deal with the public and with uh, uh, friends and neighbors about what's going on, things yes. I pick up. What have you picked up? What I've picked up already, uh, internally I can talk about within the department, but also Great. broadly in the, in the community. Excellent. I, I felt that uh, everyone is so welcoming and really kind. Good. Um, and supportive, as I said before, um, and interested, and 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 and, uh, and interested in finding more about the department and engaging with the department. Great. And so I'm looking forward to building upon those relationships. And there's broad support from the community, which is nice. Um, and it's steady. Yes. I think it's been steady for decades now. Yes. So it's great. I'm glad to hear you found that too. Exactly. And the community to me seems so vibrant too, even though we're in the midst of a pandemic. 
Yeah. It feels like this city is just teeming with you know life and activity, especially just kind of ready to release again once we get past this. So I'm really looking forward to exploring more in the community and meeting more people. Yeah, I think it, I think you'll find exactly what you found to be the truth. Uh, this is a very exciting and enjoyable community. Um, one of the really critical parts of this, uh, from my perspective, has been creating the kind of trust and relationships. Uh, are you are you finding that to be fairly reasonable? I mean, are you finding the right forums that give you the chance to create the relationships you need to build think, as you see it? I see there's opportunities there. And, okay. And like I said, for the first couple of months, it's mostly been meeting and observing and listening. But I think that, they, that we're going to create more spaces for that to occur oh, soon. Oh, great. Um, and so I'm excited about that, too. I can tell already within the department, um, again, just from the first two months, I can tell that we are, this department has so many, is full of exceptional people. Yeah. Just, just really, really good people. They care about this community. They care about the job they do. Um, they have a real sense of service to the community and to each other um, and high integrity and character. And so that's been, that's been a blessing, I think, coming into the organization that has already such high levels of character and integrity and support for one another. And it feels like it gives me such a good launching pad yeah. to move forward, right? Just build upon that strong foundation, the, the folks that we already have within the organization. Great. Um, and so I think working together, we can create some more spaces to kind of dive into some of these trust building um, initiatives or efforts that I think are so critical now in modern law enforcement. Well, and, and speaking of modern law enforcement, really modern law enforcement in Salem, I, mean, I haven't seen days like this in Salem since the, really the 60s. Mm. Uh, how have you found the turmoil? How are you dealing with the turmoil? The, uh, we call, it's called nationally, I know, defund the police, yes. but it's reform or reorganize the department. What are you finding in that area? Have you begin, begun to develop a direction yet on some of these issues? I think, yes. I, I don't have all the answers, of course. Yeah. To, to me, it feels like, as you mentioned, it's nationally. It's, it's something that uh, we're facing as a profession across the board, not just Salem or, or this agency that I came from. Um, it's national, and it's across the board for the profession. And so I don't have all the answers, but I do have some thoughts oh, good. on <laughs> how we can maybe start to move the needle a little bit in, in a deeper level of trust building with our community because... Uh, if you think about the eras in law enforcement, for example, things the only constant in life is things always change. Right? Oh, yeah. And so law enforcement, <laughs> the same thing. We're constantly evolving and changing. And we've been through various eras that are recognized in law enforcement, like the political era in the early 1900s and, um, and then on into the reform era that went into the 80s and then kind of into a community policing era that we're all more familiar with, more mm -hmm. modern. And I think right now in law enforcement as a profession, we're on the cusp of a new era. And we haven't quite identified what to call it oh, yet. Oh, okay. I was going to ask you, yeah. do you have a name so, yet? <laughs> well, uh, I'm not sure what, what the name is going to be, but I do feel that we're, we're transitioning from this community policing area into this new era. And it's going to be much more about trust building, uh, maintaining legitimacy in the eyes of the community. Mm -hmm. um, and so I do have some thoughts on how to move into that era a little bit, and I want to bring those into Salem and explore that here too. Well, great. Well, that will be our next conversation, I think. I think that's uh, certainly one of the big issues in front of the council and the community is uh, where are we headed? What, what's yes. going on? Because we have passed through a change and uh, really uh, tremendous uh, uh, accolades in the community that I'm receiving for the work you're doing and I can't thank you enough so I appreciate that and and I want to say thank you to all of you for uh, joining me we'll be back with the chief and we'll find out where we're headed in the future as time passes as uh, uh, as we get th into the budget season and through so thank you very much for joining us thank you mayor thank you